Long shadows out here at the 33 gold mine in Arizona. Found a little spot on some false bedrock. Gonna hit it real quick. Got the camper all set up for the night cool down. And uh, we're gonna work this uh, red stuff with some black sand in it right here. And that uh, kind of continues across here on top of that bedrock. So we're classifying just a little bit to test tonight. We got the double Steves on the site here. <laughs> the new Steve and the old Steve, I guess. Doc stopped by. He's not going to do any of this work, though. Here's Don Sullenberger, Diana's dad. Picture of Rocky and Lee that showed up. And the world-famous detectorist, Duck, and his beautiful wife. There's another world-famous detectorist, Gordon Sahara. And Gordon co-authored a number of books on metal detecting. Here's Faith Johnson's husband, Steve, a huge contributor to the chapter. Here's a picture of the Rat Pack, including Terry, Gordon's wife, and Faith. Deanna Costin, our chapter president, always smiling. Here's Amber and Steve detecting my tailings. And although we only ran two buckets, we got a few pieces of color. And this was from Heath and Jennifer Shuttler. They were dry washing. Now we're back at Donner Pass, going up to the surf part of this video. Beautiful driving from Truckee every day through Sierra City up to my gold claim on the North Fork of the Yuba River. Not Sierra City, I guess Sierraville. And now we're going through Downeyville, California. We're pretty far off grid. What a cool old mining town this is. That road right there, that bridge is going across the Downey River, which meets with the North Fork of the Yuba River right there in town. Wonderful place to go and spend some time if you have the chance. Out of there, we're gonna head further to the south actually to the southwest toward the deep blue North Fork of the Yuba claim. Here we go. Well, good morning from the North Fork of the Yuba River. Beautiful day out here. A little bit early yet to wait for the sun to come up. I'm planning on doing a little bit of sniping uh, up and around this bedrock here. I'll turn this camera around toward Downeyville. Beautiful. Anyway, the water's quite low. You can see the white marks over there and on this bedrock where this is normally underwater. So this is gonna be a lot of fun today. I will be down as soon as the sun gets a little higher, working those cracks and that material in these little pockets. I'll go across to the deep and try to hold my breath and get down deep and I see found this bedrock here in that boulder, which means the water was moving pretty fast when it got here. And uh, I uh, go right against this wall on the inside. I don't bother with this material here. There's might be some flood gold in it, but really where it's at is right along that edge down there. So we pan that out and got a few pieces of color there and then ran another pan and got this, a few more pieces of color. That one produced very good gold in one of the pans I just did. So I'm trying to figure out where it came from. But uh, nothing gets a crevasseur more happy than when you get down inside there and you see that compacted rock down inside there. That means nobody's been here for a long time, if ever. And as I chisel this thing out and get out, hopefully, a picker underneath of this guy we're getting plenty of flakes but i'm looking to get something healthy you know what i mean so stay tuned i'm going to do some chiseling here but that's good packed rock in bedrock let's rock Just walking down to pan out that little crevice i'm working and i saw this laying on the ground and one does not pass up highly mineralized 
bedrock out here. So you got to take a good close look at it because this is usually where the gold is. And it looks like that's a piece right there. See it shiny? Bedrock. That's what's for breakfast. Well, I just panned out those about two pans worth of material on that little crevice back there where I got the good pan of about eight pieces a little while ago. Uh, and um, not as much here, but let's take a look at the goods here. And I hate to point out the obvious here, but there is a piece of gold right there, and that's going to be a that's going to be a picker right there. We've also got some lead. The ladder, the better here. And the reason for that is if it's got lead, it's picking up the heavies. So uh, there's a few specks of gold in this one, not as much, but boy, this uh, this one right here makes up the difference. He's like a little like shot from a shotgun or something and some other pieces of lead. But uh, this little guy, yeah, he gets the award for being the biggest piece today. So let's listen. Yep, that's a pick it up and drop it. Let's do it again. Oh. Yes, sir. And also, so not a bad trip. I went up there to Reno, drove to Truckee, and drove in each day for two days to the claim. And I had an idea of just going sniping here, which I did do the first day. And I really didn't give it a fair chance because the water was super cold. And I felt a little rushed on time. So I did snipe for one day, didn't find anything sniping. Actually, I found one little piece. And then I popped the drone and took some of these pictures right here. And I decided the next day to regroup and come out and just do some crevicing on the banks in that bedrock right there. And boy, am I glad I did. This is a pretty good take right here. I was very happy with it all. So um, I'll probably be back again. Might run my high banker up there or sluice box and uh, hopefully find some more of this good color. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications.